Brand here on the Vegas Strip. In. Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. Johnson's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Fine looking right hand by Mike Tyson. What's the best way to neutralize good hand speed? Timing. Guy's throwing real quick punches. Maybe a quick jab. You time a right hand right over. Protecting his head well with his guard. Good clean shot. Returning fire. Well done by Meldrick Johnson. Halfway through this round. Solid right hands headline that exchange. Huge uppercut by Tyson. Well targeted two punch combo by Johnson. He has his target, he lands a straight right. To the head he goes with a left hand. Fires right back at him. Good solid jab by Mike Tyson. Johnson's cut is on the cheek, and you can see that it's bothering him a bit right now. That's something we'll keep our eye on. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Mike Tyson. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Oh, that's got to hurt. Of course, Mike Tyson has a history with being down, but not necessarily out. Will this be like the first knockdown against Buster Douglas or the final one? One, two, three, four. Tyson's corner needs to really get to their man after this round. They need to treat him after that knockdown. They also need to give him some sound advice. What's the advice you give him? Well, first of all, if they're going to get the chance to get to him, he better move his head. But the advice I would give him is, hey, you go out this next round and you kill some time. Tie him up a little bit right from the beginning. Don't worry about losing the early part of the fight or the early part of the round. Just get yourself back together. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. And now he's targeting upstairs. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Johnson's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. That's a razor sharp uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. Halfway through this round here. Iron Mike Tyson lands a big right hand. Blocks away that headshot. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Meldrick Johnson. Parries that punch intended for the head. Good one-two by Mike Tyson. Big left hand from Iron Mike. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Johnson's defense is paying off now. Ten clicks of the top. Tyson's defense penetrated by a well-targeted uppercut. And we come to the end of round number two. Johnson's defense is going to need to shine when he gets back out there. I mean, just look at the close-up of that cut we're seeing. Yeah, he's got to use his legs. You're right, Joe. He's got to get out there and buy some time for those medicines to work. He missed with that headshot. Takes a step back. 
Then the counter punch by Mike Tyson. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. Tyson's committed to that counter punching very early on here in this fight, and that can pay off as the night continues. Well, it's paying off right now because you see that his opponent now is getting a little worried about letting his hands go because every time he does, he doesn't find anything, and he finds something coming back at him. Targeting that head with the combination punching. A huge right hand from Mike Tyson. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He missed by a mile. That wasn't even close by Mike Tyson. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Took a shot, now he gives the left. Up top with the right hand. Doubling up the jab by Mike Tyson. Well played, straight right hand. Good job, it was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Mike Tyson. Fine looking right hand by Johnson. Well, I think this is a fairly even fight, Teddy. As we look at your scorecard, that's the way you have it as we begin round number four. Well, it's been a battle of drafts, to be honest with you, Joe. And until one guy shows that his jab is bilingual, it's gonna stay close. And what I mean by that, if one guy shows that his jab can do more than speak just English, maybe a little Spanish, you know, maybe a little bit of this language where he hooks off and he does more things, that guy is gonna separate himself. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Good combination to the body. Little head hunting with the left. And now he scores well with the straight right. Halfway through round number four. Zoning in on that gut. Combination punch downstairs. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Meldrick Johnson. Johnson's able to land a nice clean left hand. Little volume punching to the body there. A little head hunting with the right. What impact from that uppercut by Meldrick Johnson. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Johnson's doing well here with that two punch combination. End of the round, around, end of the round, around, I do believe that he was able to take. But his opponent is there stride for stride. This is going to be a close fight. Teddy, where do you have him on the scorecards? Is he I, up? Yeah, I have him slightly ahead. But as you said, very close fight. And the kind of fight where you let up for a moment, you're going to lose it. He got hit right there. Big, big shot he just scored with. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. One, two, three, four, five. So many people point to the downfall of Mike Tyson, but few remember how he would get up off the canvas time and time again in some of those toughest fights. Good 
job on the two-punch combo by Johnson. Meldrick Johnson's ability to properly throw and land his combinations has been stunning. Teddy, why is he so successful? Because you just said it. He's putting them together. You know, one or two wouldn't land, but he's handcuffing the guy. And the ref's not going to tolerate the headbutt there. He hands out the warning. Halfway into round number five here. Oh, he just ate a big uppercut right there. He had one no point, idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. Mike Tyson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Johnson's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. And that's the end of round five. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out there and try to end this fight? Not only does he think it, I think he's right. I think that he probably has very little time left before the referee or the dogs is going to stop this. And he needs to be thinking that way if he's not. Nice combo by Johnson. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Johnson's opponent has to be thinking to himself, how can I get this guy off of him? How can he, Teddy? Well, the one thing he can do is don't wait until he's on you. <laughs> it's too late then. As he's coming forward, sidestep him a little bit before it's too late and catch him. Nice strike after catching one by Meldrick Johnson. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Meldrick Johnson. Solid. Some way, somehow, he's got to try to get up. Mike Tyson's down, and he looks to be out. Now we're going to see what's inside this man. the fight. Johnson's gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Ladies and gentlemen, by the way of knockouts, your winner, Johnson. That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.